Hi there, today I'm going to sh show you the menu of the new SJ4000 Plus. I'm also going to explain uh, the settings from uh, it. I'm going to enter the menu. The first uh, option, it's uh, very obvious, it's uh, the resolution setting. You have uh, multiple choices ranging from uh, 2K resolution at uh, 30 frames per second and going down to VGA resolution which is uh, capable of uh, 240 frames per second. The next uh, setting is uh, cyclic record. This will uh, create uh, multiple uh, files of your video. It will uh, split the video at uh, predefined time limits. You have options for 3 minutes, 5 minutes and uh, 10 minutes. We also have a wide dynamic range. This is used for improving uh, the contrast between uh, low light and uh, intense light when uh, they are both present in the same frame. Uh, the gyro sensor is responsible for in-camera image stabilization when the camera shakes or it's moved on uh, one of its axes it will actually stabilize the image and it will move it up. Next uh, option is motion detection. This uh, when it's uh, enabled it will automatically start the camera recording when uh, something moves in front of it. The audio option is for uh, enabling or disabling sound recording. We have date stamping. This will uh, show you the date on your recorded uh, movie. We have a TV out option. It's for enabling the HDMI port, micro HDMI port on the camera. TV mode is for selecting its uh, to standard. OSD mode is uh, for showing uh, information on the screen about the remaining capacity of the card or, or uh, battery. Video lapse it's for recording fast forward movies. Uh, you can set the interval at which the camera will take a snapshot. You have uh, from one second and going to one minute. Slow movie it's the reverse of the time lapse. This will uh, slow down the action and you ha also have multiple choices but you must know that uh, when uh, you decrease the speed you're also going to decrease automatically the resolution. Image size it's uh, for uh, taking pictures. You have multiple resolutions. White balance as usual you have Presets for daylight, cloudy, tungsten, fluorescent. The ISO for taking pictures, ISO sensitivity of the sensor. The exposure, you can uh, have from uh, minus 2 EVs to blue plus 2. Capture mode, it's for taking a single shot and uh, also you can use it uh, for uh, taking a timed picture multiple pictures this is another method of uh, doing uh, uh, video lapse but from uh, pictures burst mode it's for taking multiple pictures you can take 3 pictures and up to 13 pictures Delete is for deleting uh, files from the SD card. You have an option to format the SD card. Uh, Wi-Fi SSID it's for uh, putting a name on your camera to find it on uh, uh, on your mobile phone. This is also a password for the Wi-Fi. Car mode enables the camera to automatically start recording when it's connected to power so you will not need to connect the 
when you connect it to the car and you start the car engine the camera will start recording you will not need to turn it on or off each time uh, license not set it's for setting your license plate for example when you use it as a car recorder but you can uh, also use it to display some other text language you have multiple languages to choose from I'm going to run through all of them okay back to English date and time it's obvious you can set it auto power off it's for turning off the camera when it's uh, not recording or not used beep sound it's for having sounds when you push the buttons screen saver is for turning the screen off even when it's recording this is for saving battery it's also useful when you use the camera as a card recorder because it will not uh, stay in your vision and it will not uh, disturb you while you drive frequency it's for uh, cancelling uh, image flickering depending on your zone we have also an option to rotate image when you use the camera upside down we have an option to reset the camera to default settings back to resettings and uh, last option it's a version information about the camera firmware and its uh, release date right I'm going to exit the menu we also have here a button which when I long press it will turn and act as a zoom button and if I short press it it will turn on the Wi-Fi connection letting me connect to the camera with the phone so that's about it menu it's easy to follow and now you know what each setting will do bye bye